Yesterday, I played some Freebird Priest, and today it's time for some Freebird Paladin. So Freebird is a 4-minute charge minion with bad stats, but it buffs itself for each other Freebird we've played throughout the game. So we want to play as many Freebirds as possible, and that's where Spirit of the Badlands comes in. It's Paladin's Highlander Legendary, so it needs us to have no duplicates in our deck, and then it gives us a permanent Mirage in our hand, and the Mirage each turn transforms into a copy of a minion from our deck. And that's good for us, because the only minion in our deck is going to be the Freebird, so every turn we'll get a larger and larger charge minion. It's a very simple deck, and for some reason I have a 62% win rate. really just want to find the Spirit of the Badlands. Alright, this should be a... Well, I guess I instantly lose if they draw Patchwork, right? But if they don't draw Patchwork, this should be a pretty good matchup for me. Um, I was going to play Jury Duty here, but that 2-3 is kind of a menace. So I guess I'll shoot it with a hammer. Alright, we got our trade. Hey, that's the good card. Could have played Flash of Light, but like drawing cards is kind of bad because if I hit Free Bird, I just lose. Or it makes it way harder if I hit Free Bird. Okay, protect the 4 1, I guess. And it begins. Gotta coin the body bagger, of course. Blood boil is okay. Probably not an order in the court game. This is actually a pretty good flash of light. Alright. Next bird is a 5-5. Five five. Getting pretty big. I do have a quality consecration here. And that was not a very good scourge. So a quality consecration should be fine. Is there anything else that would be good here? I've got a showdown that I could play kind of for free. I've got this as well. Could play a quality Judge Unworthy, but then I wouldn't be able to afford Freebird. I think it's just a very simple turn here. Probably need to trade into this horse. 
because they could easily make this thing buff it up and then kill my free bird. Next turn, I'll be able to go free bird plus horn of the wind lord, so that's going to be pumping out some damage. The Atar is really annoying. Three out of eight to steal my mirage. I feel like they should insta pick mirage, and they haven't picked it. Okay, they picked something. Nice. What was that? Order in the court? Cool. That was probably the worst card in my hand. Oh no, they're going to draw patchwork off that though. Uh, that's annoying. It's annoying, but like, I don't know, I can push 11, 17 this turn, leave them at 11, they patchwork the big one, I've got another 6. I don't know, might be pretty hard for them to patchwork here. Is Horn of the Windlord even the play? Maybe it's muster for battle? It's probably just Horn. My deck is starting to get kind of small, and I've got like Feast and Famine, Brick Wealth Loss. That Gnome Muncher is annoying, but uh, Judge Unworthy is actually quite good here. There's Feast and Famine. Uh, are they dead? This thing is a 7-7. Seven, seven. And then this thing, so I have 19 damage, I believe. Oh, that actually goes face, so I have 20 damage. Let's make some little dudes. Makes the patchwork harder to play, because they might leave up a 7-7. Seven, seven. It's a lot of healing. But I've got 8 plus 12, right? So they're just dead. Beautiful. That was basically the perfect game with this deck. Got a Warlock opponent, which is pretty scary because I might just be getting OTK'd. I found my good card, though. So if this is Control Warlock... I'm in a very good spot. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and pick up a dragon. I don't really need damage because uh, I have free birds. I guess I'll take healing in case they try to OTK me but don't get all the way there. Uh, not much point in coining out the spirit, because I wouldn't be able to play Freebird next turn anyway. Forge of Wills. That means it's not an OTK deck, right? So that's good for me. Uh, the bad part is they're probably going to make like two 7-7s seven -sevens this turn. I do have an equality, but nothing to directly go with it. Oh, an ETC. Not too worried about ETC. Very weak Forge of Wills. Um, ETC leads me to believe this might be a Reno deck, which I think is good for me. Two-Face. Oh, that's not good. I've got the Equality, as I said before, but I don't have anything to go with it. I guess this turn could just be like... True Silver this, and then Equality Thaddeus. I really don't want them to make an 11-11 with this. Oh, it doesn't even have to be True Silver, because I picked up this Hammer of Wrath. 
What does this do? Could play this instead of equality. That's probably better, because equality is a stronger card. Sucks to miss out on the bird here. Well, that can't hit Thaddeus. That's good. Oh, Sargeras. Beautiful card. Once again, have to forego a free bird, which makes me sad. But I don't think I can take all this damage. I do have Reno to beat Sargeras, so I need to draw that. Order in the court might be kind of a bummer, but hey, they didn't mill Reno or Freebird, so I'm happy. Those are the two good cards in my deck. Uh, let's freaking Crusader Aura. Let's go. Boom. So my next bird is only a 4-4, right? And then... Okay, well this is dying, so there's no way I have lethal here. I had a lot of damage, though, with a uh, free bird for Quelth of Loss, Feast and Famine. But no longer. Might be a bit of a true silver champion face kind of play here. So, I'd say Sargeras is coming down almost always. Taking Taunt is, like, kind of risky leaving up a 6-5. Yogg from ETC. Are they going to steal my bird? That's fucked up. Showdown, don't really have a hand for sure. Well, I do have uh, Deputization Aura, which is pretty good here. Maybe that is the play. Die. Die. So, this is gaining one health, so if I go here, it's left with one. If I go here, it's left with two. Eh. Probably doesn't really matter. Wait, did I miss lethal? Oh, I had definitely just missed lethal, didn't I? Instead of playing showdown, just play for Quelth Loss, which was plus five damage. Oh, well, I look like a bit of a bozo. I didn't realize I had so much freaking damage. And it might actually be hard to beat Sargeras here. Okay, but they don't play Sargeras. So to get through this taunt, I've got Judge Unworthy thing and uh, Bird to go face. Alright. I will have to double check the footage, but I'm pretty sure I had lethal last turn. But either way, the bird got in there. Those aren't Spirit of the Badlands. Hey, that is Spirit of the Badlands. Nice. I have Silverwing is probably the best card I could have hit here. Uh, so this is probably a Plague deck. 
which is not great for me. But I should... I do have Spirit of the Badlands to get down on turn 3. And then after that... Oh wow, it's just an aggro deck. That's annoying. Uh, but once I get Spirit of the Badlands down, it doesn't really matter if they shut down my arena stuff. But I don't think this is a plague deck, so it doesn't really matter. It could be a plague deck. It is possible. Wow, they really wanted to kill this Divine Shield minion. I mean, we just gotta get the bird going, right? Maw and Paw. That doesn't seem like an aggro card, to be honest. I think I care more about playing Free Bird than killing Maw and Paw. I still care more about playing Freebird. Well, now I want to kill Gold Panner. Oh, wait, I can Freebird plus uh, for Quelth loss. And that kills both. What a good card. They might have Corpse Bride here. Kind of seems like a rainbow deck. Yeah. Oof. Uh, so how big is this bird? Oh, prison. It's a 5-5. Five five. So deputization aura plus free bird is actually quite good here. Bonk, bonk. Beautiful. The next turn can maybe be bird plus judge unworthy deal with the 8-8 and then the bird can do whatever. Or if I'm desperate, it can be prison. I also want to kill this card, which I guess is what, uh, what the bird attack can do. Keeper's strength. If only I had one more mana. I mean, the bird can just trade into this. And then I could, like, true silver the one two. This thing doesn't really do anything if I don't have a board. I think I'm pretty happy with this. I have bird keeper strength this turn. Which should be quite good. Reno. Reno can be used for, uh... Well. Maybe Reno is used for explosion. Yeah, I think Bird is fine here. Nice to make use of my deputization aura the last turn it's up. Very annoying card for them to randomly generate. And very annoying card for them to have a legitimate copy of. I guess I probably judge unworthy the uh, maw and paw. And then bird into the 2-4. I don't know, that sounds kind of pathetic. But I don't think I really have much of another play. And I've seen a lot of their big stuff, so I don't think Judge Unworthy is, like, super important to have. It's 
My next bird only has nine power, which doesn't quite deal with that. Maybe bird prismatic beam. Although the prismatic beam doesn't really hit great breakpoints. Oh, I do have great hall. Maybe I just play great hall. We bird for sure. Do I need to kill this 3-4? I kind of just want to go face for 9. Nine face. The explosion is definitely getting pretty scary, but I don't think it's going to kill me. And I have Reno. now. Sixteen damage. Um, I mean, I can also just go Equality Beam, right? And then I can slap down another Freebird. They haven't done anything that would give them another, uh, another explosion, so I don't think I have to worry about dying from 14. Alright, next bird is 11, I have Hand of Adol for 13, and then Weapon for 14. Three mana deal six. Probably pretty hard for them to have. And they need to heal on top of that. Loot hoarder. What an interesting choice. Bird. Very nice. I think 11 is my biggest bird so far. Love to see a new record. I think I'm pretty happy with the warrior matchup. No spirit yet. Pretty sturdy board we've got here. Next turn is definitely Crusader Aura if all of these live. Easy Crusader Aura. I don't think there's much reason for me to be the one trading here. I'm just going face. If they clear my minion next turn, I can hit with True Silver and then equip Horn and hit with it, which is seven damage, and then I'll have nine the following turn with Horn plus Hammer. Joke's on you, I don't play minions. Wait, joke's on me, I don't play minions. Are they dead? I do have Keeper's Strength. Yeah, they're just dead, right? I'm an aggro deck. Shh. 
Show me the spirit. Not a great hand. Oh, that's the good card. And this should be a good matchup for it. Should have plenty of time to just chain birds. They had to get a little bit lucky with that, but not too lucky. So I've got the birds going, and I've got this freaking surprise 9 damage later in the game. So I'd say I'm set up pretty well to win this one. And I've even got Horn of the Windlord plus Feast and Famine, but I don't know. Kind of hard to find a spot to play Horn. Maybe wait until turn 10 to play it with a free bird. Another one of these things. Four face. Probably consecrate with my bird here. Six one's pretty scary. Bird. Should be two four fours, right? Well, let's see what this can do, I think. I hope Silver Ring is pretty darn good. It's really hard for my deck to juice up the amalgam, so we'll just take Hi-Ho Silverwing. What if this goes face? I push 9, they're at 11, my next bird... Yeah, yeah. So I overdraw, whatever, who gives a shit? Um, my next bird can be uh, Blessing of King, Gardens Graced for so much damage. a bold attack. Six armor. It should be mega dead here still. Just this is nine damage. I don't remember how big my bird is, but it's definitely got six power. Oh, okay. That's not going to be lethal. Right, this is seven, eleven, sixteen to my opponent's twenty. Might still be worth playing, though, because it's freaking huge. So they have to deal with this, and then they have to not die to... Uh, whatever the next bird is. 8-8 eight, eight plus 6 damage. They might have to, like, bump this in and then blade storm. I guess that's pretty efficient. You're bouncing my free bird? I have 10 mana, so Bird, Bird, Feast, and Famine is lethal. Justice. Justice. 
Nein. <lacht>